I don't feel like I'm being compared to Glenn at all. There's only ever going to be one Glenn Tipton at the end of the day. He composed all those fantastic solos, so he's done all the hard work so that guys like me can come and just play it mm -hmm. as close as we can to how it was originally written. So yeah, I don't ever feel like people's going to compare me to Glenn because I wouldn't want them to for one second, you know, because there's only one Glenn Tipton. Hello, you metal pilgrims, and welcome to yet another interview episode on the channel. And our today's guest is nobody else but AJ Mills of KK's Priest. AJ, thank you so much for finding time and joining me today. How are you, man? Yeah, really good. Thanks for having me, man. It's yeah, uh, very hot and humid in the UK at the moment. And uh, as you know, us Brits ain't used to this hot weather, but we're bloody well good at moaning about it, old chap. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't believe it. I, I spent some time in the uh, um. In much more called in in London in the United Kingdom and uh, yeah, humid it was, hot not so much. <laughs> ah, okay, we've had a couple of weeks of pretty hot weather um, and very humid, like in the thirty degrees at the moment. So mm -hmm. yeah, just trying to stay cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck on that. Thank you. <laughs> good luck on that. I'm sorry, but you will need it. <laughs> yeah, it won't last long. Don't worry. <laughs> I, know. I know. I know. I know it won't. You know it won't. Everybody else yes. knows. It won't. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy it while you can. Yes. Right, yes. AJ. Of course, the biggest news in the world of KK's Priest these days is the upcoming release of your new sophomore studio album. So first of all, congrats! Congrats on uh, you know finishing up the work on it, and uh, you know, and we'll talk about this in a moment. But first of all, for you as a guitarist. Um, how was it working on this record compared to Sermons of the Sinner? I mean, obviously, um, everybody's more used to working with each other now because we've got the first record out of the way. Um, everything went really fast. Mm -hmm. As the first record, you know, KK comes to the fold with a really clear plan. Yeah. Like, he already has the, the album title ready mm -hmm. when he presents it to the band and he's got his ideas for the song names as well. <laughs> So for us guys, it's pretty cool to just come in and then all contribute as much as we can. This is awesome. This is awesome. And yeah. in all honesty, I mean, KK is a legend. Everyone knows that, of course, right? I grew up on Judas Priest. I'm sure you grew up on Judas Priest as well. I did, yeah. Uh, True, so, yeah. So working with such legend, um, even... Even being, you know, the best virtuoso guitarist you can possibly imagine, how much pressure does it put on you personally? And how much are you still, if at all, trying to, you know, somewhat prove yourself when working with Ken? I mean, I've been working with Ken for a long time now anyway. I've known him for nearly 20 years now. Yeah. So it's already really comfortable. Um, he produced two of my band's albums, Hostile. Yeah. So I've already got over the um, the pressure mm -hmm. of working with him because at first when I started working, I was very nervous. Yeah. But um, I mean, there's still a lot of a high level of expectation there when you're working with a guitar icon as well, yeah. like KK. So, but I see it as a positive where I can push myself to the next level. You know, and I use that to keep myself focused. And this is great. And I'm, I'll be honest with you, and I'll tell you exactly the same thing I, I told Ken uh, a couple of days ago. Um, but it, the reason why I personally, and this is not to dish on Sermons of the Sinner, not in any way, but I personally liked the new album significantly more uh, than uh -huh. the first one, I'll be very honest with you, um, is partially because of your interaction with KK on it. I feel like it has become much more cohesive in a way and coherent, you know, in a way. It, it feels like it is it, it is not just you playing a part in a which, you know, of KK, which somewhat it felt to me on the first record. On this one, it feels like a, you know, a proper guitar a duo that, uh, you know, is interacting and playing off each other. And this is what I absolutely loved about Sinner Rides Again. Well, that's awesome, dude, and thank you very much for the great compliment. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, I am super excited to see you guys. Hopefully, I'm I'm from Ukraine. I'm in Ukraine right yeah. now, so hopefully, I'll be able to you know see you guys 
on stage because that's where I believe, you know, true heavy metal lives. And this is the only yes. way to truly learn to appreciate the band. And I'm sure, I'm sure it, it will sound great. Absolutely. Yeah, 100% will, I promise yeah. you. <laughs> this is awesome. And um, talking about individual songs on, uh, on, uh, on the record, is there any in particular that you possibly either enjoy already playing the most or the one you're really, really looking forward to play live for the first time? Um, I'm looking forward to, we've just released uh, the single Strike of the Viper. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we'll be adding that into the set. So I am looking forward to playing that live for sure. Yeah. Um, Playing one more shot at Glory Live has been mm -hmm. awesome as well because that song's heavy as hell and it's yeah. even heavy live. Yeah. And it's great to see the fans singing back the one more shot. Yeah. So that's been cool, yeah. I feel like overall this record is uh, it's pretty packed with anthemic, uh, you know, uh, you know, anthemic songs and anthemic titles which are meant to be played uh you know live you know i one thing is to enjoy it in your earphones or on uh, on your record player i'm still in sure. uh, although i'm a, i'm young i'm an old school dude who enjoys uh, uh records uh still but you know yeah, but, me too, mate. yeah but I, yeah. it's a completely different um feeling when you when you have a crowd you know of uh of fans chanting around you and i feel like all of the songs on this record are pretty much you know written uh, you know for that specifically yeah, 100%, absolutely. And I mean, I did feel that with the first record as mm -hmm. well. You know, you've got some great uh, anthems on there, like Metal Through and Through. Yeah. Um, Sacerdote, Diablo. Yeah. Um, Hellfire Thunderbolt, which is the also goes down so good live. Yeah. I'm playing it like, Hellfire Thunderbolt. The crowd love it, man. How's it working for you with uh, Tim? You know, um... Uh, how is the interaction on stage and do you do you already with Tim you know with Tony with uh, with the can and everybody else do you already feel you know because even though you've officially been a band for what two years now or something like that roughly you know but um you you were able to hit the stage for the first time only a couple of months ago now so do you already feel like you know a one coherent unit or is still trying to you know get used to each other on stage we absolutely feel like a unit, like a, a well-oiled metal machine already. I mean, we were cooped up for so long, like everybody else yeah. all over the world, in the COVID times, which sucks because we'd just done our first record. Uh, we were all so hungry to get out there, you know, and kick some ass. So now we're finally able to do it. I feel like we're all yeah. hanging together, you know. It's really cool. And you can mention, KK mentioned that on this record, he's been, you know, tr trying to give a little bit more of creative freedom to the team, basically, right? If the first one was pretty imperative, it, he wrote it and, uh, you know, and uh, I assume gave everyone the parts. That's pretty much what I, you know, what he said, uh, you know, uh, during the interview after before the first album. But this time around, he said that, you know, everyone contributed something. So which, which was your favorite part, you know, and which which guitar possibly lead that you are the most proud of on this record? It's really hard to choose. I mean, that's a great question, but it's, you always feel like um, you're proud of everything you do on the record. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's like trying to pick one of your favorite children or something, you know, it's quite tough to... Yeah, I have because, to, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, I have to, too. <laughs> I mean, it changes day to day when I'll, I'll still spend the new album in my mm -hmm. car or something when I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And one day my favourite track might be uh, Wash Away Your Sins. Mm -hmm. And then the next day it's One More Shot at Glory again. So I can't settle on anything at the moment. I, I get excited by each track every day and it's so tough. I feel like one song which kind of stands out and not because, you know, it's better or worse than the others, but because it is quite different in in its mood in a, in a way for me personally i felt like is a hymn uh, 66 do you agree yeah. with me on that one yeah it is i think every track's really different on this record as mm. well but i do know what you're saying about hymn 66 does stand out a lot yeah and for me it's it's for uh, 
in a good way. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not saying it's not. It's not good. Or, or, you know, for me, it's not in a better way or in a worse way than any any other track on the record. But it does feel like it also. It almost you know it it felt much more like. 90s era Judas Priest compared to you know um to you know regular <laughs> Judas Priest yeah. to me at least personally you know and yeah I understand yeah you, and... you also had that on the the Ram It Down album didn't you with Blood Red Skies yeah. so that stood out from the rest of the tracks you know absolutely absolutely and I feel like Tim was really able to also open up on this track and a completely you know and show his vocal skills from a completely different angle. Rather unexpected yeah. sometimes, which which I personally love. I think it's great. But uh, my personal favorite is possibly pledge you pledge your soul. So I'll be honest with you. I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I had it on a bit for like ten or fifteen times in a row because I absolutely enjoyed and so many you know guitar you know small guitar parts that you first do not notice that you know you only open up after you listen to them for quite a lot of times. And that is a great anthemic track as yeah. well, isn't it? I really look forward to when the, the fans hear that one. Yeah. And what about you playing, you know, older Judas Priest songs? Do you, you know, do you feel also, I don't want to say extra pressure doing that, you know, because obviously people who are KK's fans, you know, who were, who were there before KK's Priest was born, um, you know, obviously... Uh, they were, you know, and they are the fans of uh, of Judas Priest. So, do yeah. you in any way feel like people comparing you to Glenn Tipton when you perform some of the parts uh, on those songs? No, I don't feel like I'm being compared to Glenn at all. There's only ever going to be one Glenn Tipton <laughs> at the end of the day, yes. and um, you know, the, he composed all those fantastic solos. So he's done all the hard work so that guys like me can come and just play it mm -hmm. as close as we can to how it was originally written. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I don't ever feel like people's going to compare me to Glenn because I wouldn't want them to for one second, you know, because there's only one Glenn Tipton. I agree with you. And, you know, what we can do is pay tribute to you know, what I still consider one of the greatest, and I always consider it for all my life and will for the rest of my life, one of the greatest heavy metal bands to ever, ever exist on this planet. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And are there any Judas Priest songs that you as a fan are looking forward to add to the set list? Man, there's so many great songs and i mean and we're lucky to have kk in the band to have written these songs and even the ripper as well from his um time and priest with jugulator and demolition there's that many great songs to grab from as well as our own stuff so it can be a bit of a headache really trying to choose a set list and you're always going to miss songs out that's that's going to annoy the fans as well you know and <laughs> we didn't play anything off ram it down or we didn't play anything off Jugulator or, you know, even though we do play Burning Hell, actually, yeah. But, I mean, you're always going to miss something, aren't you? Absolutely. And as a fan of Judas Priest, I feel like the most rewarding thing for many fans would be to hear as many... Um, Ripper era songs, you know, performed mm. by KK's Priest, you know, simply because Ripper is in the band and there are two of the original members who are, you know, who were there when those songs were produced. And it just makes quite a lot of sense. And especially since, you know, uh, you know, I don't think that we'll hear them by Judas Priest ever in the future, you know, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they will. The, this set list is going to be ever changing. So... Mm -hmm. I'm 100% sure there's going to be more from Ripper's time and Judas Priest. Um, but also, it's great now we've got Ripper and KK's Priest to pull from as well. Absolutely, yeah. So we're spoiled. <laughs> yeah, and you spoil us, the fans, because it is a great pleasure to see you guys on stage. As I said, I was not able to witness you guys yet, but from the clips and bits that I've seen online, you sound fantastic. You look very coherent. Uh, the production is great, and uh, you know, and uh, it is just wonderful. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, have in stock for us, and you know how the tour will plan out. 
And also regarding this tour, you're also going on the road with Paul Diano, uh, whom I think everyone knows, uh, of course, and Burning Witches, who once again, and I'm not ashamed to say that, I consider to be one of the best, you know, new and upcoming heavy metal acts, you know, in the world. Um, yeah. So how excited are you for this tour? Have you ever played with the girls? Have you met with the girls from Burning Witches yet? And, uh, you know, how was it performing with Paul? on your first ever gig with KK's Priest? Yeah, I mean, it's very exciting, isn't it? Because it's such a great tour package. Yeah. Um, and with Paul Diano, like, I absolutely love the first two Iron Maiden records. And uh, I can actually remember when I was uh, first starting to play guitar, I was trying to play um, a lot from the Killers album. Yeah. And learning the solos and yeah. stuff. Oh, that's some cool memories it's not as easy as it may se seem and uh, sound <laughs> like, right? <laughs> to, yeah. to non players. <laughs> no, but it was great training for me, you know, growing yeah. up as a guitar player. Um, the gig was absolutely fantastic at the Stillmill with Paul as well. You know, he still absolutely kicks ass live. And it's great to see. And like his fans absolutely adore him as well. So this is all really cool. And uh, the Burning Witches, I agree with you, yeah. They are an exciting band at the moment in heavy metal. Something fresh. And it's great. I said a quick hello when we were playing in um, Spain mm -hmm. at the Leandes del Rock Festival. Yeah. We said a quick hello then. So, yeah, really looking forward to doing the tour with those guys. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. I mean, I know Paul. I love Paul, of course. And, uh, you know, and Vernon Wishes. We just met at Vulcan Open Air a couple of weeks ago. And the girls were fantastic. They killed yeah. it live, and I am sure the the this triple bill of Kiki's Priest, uh, Paul Diano, and Bernice, which is is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I'm really really looking forward uh, to you know seeing that and hearing that live. We spoke with Ken very briefly about a possibility of already thinking about the third album. So yes. do you do you already have any ideas of where this might go? Do you? Have any riffs in stock that you would like to share with KK's Priest in the future, or you know, or you still it's still too far ahead and you don't want to think about it yet? I mean, at the moment we are fully in tour mode. Mm -hmm. you no, know, because we was like I said before, we were cooped up for so long where we wasn't able to play live. All we want to do at the moment is concentrate on playing live. Yeah. So I can't say from my end I've got anything coming out riff-wise yet, because I'm just purely concentrating on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure KK is the same as well, you know, he's uh, really excited that we're out there playing and the fans are loving it so much. So I think we're going to soak as much as that up as we can until we get sick of being out there, really, and then come back and do the third record. I don't think that a true heavy metal, uh, you know... Uh... The person who is passionate about heavy metal will ever be sick of touring or <laughs> sick of uh, live concerts, but uh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we get too tired. But yeah, it will 100%. Ken will want to come back and write another record, you know. He's a very creative guy, so he's going to want to do it soon enough, I'm sure. This is wonderful, and I'm very, very much looking forward to it. AJ, thank you so much for joining me today. Any last message for the fans, old and new? Anything you want to share with them? Yeah, first of all, I'm a massive fan of your channel, so it's a privilege to be here. Thank you for <laughs> thank having me. And uh, for the fans, we look forward to coming and playing somewhere near you soon. This is wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was AJ Mills of KK's Priest and KK's Priest's new studio album. The Sinner Rides Again will be out in just a couple of days via Napalm Records. Make sure to check it out. I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. AJ, thank you so much for joining me today. Keep rocking, man. Cheers, buddy, man. I'll hey. keep watching your channel. Thanks for having me.